<laughs> What's up, everybody? Today, I'm trying out some free DAWs, okay? It's 2022, and uh, when I started LMMS, it was 2012. My favorite piece of software then to create music was LMMS, and uh, it's not aged. Maybe it has aged as well as I think it does, and I, I hold it in high regard, but you know, ever since I downloaded Ableton, I definitely like it a lot more. It's way, like, quality of sound goes from here to here with a lot less effort, which is really what kills me in LMMS. So today I decided that there's not enough talk about the alternatives to free DAWs. Let's jump right in. Let's get to looking at free DAWs. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm looking for. The ability to record, which is LMMS's weakest point. Third-party plugin support, also LMS's weakest point. Weakest point. MIDI ability, LMS is pretty good at this. Easy to learn, LMS is eh. And nice to look at, LMS is eh. Best free dogs, let's go again. Bam, ba -ba -da -ba -da. what are you? Here we go. So this list we looked at in our previous video, Audacity, we're gonna try out Audacity. Let's go right now. Now thing to note in this video is I will be talking only about DAWs that are able to be run on Windows, Mac, and maybe Linux, but definitely Windows and Mac. I'm on a Mac, but I used to be, and I am a full IT guy, so I'm on Windows pretty much every day. Mac, boom. Alrighty, so, and Audacity, yeah, I remember using this program all the time. It is a staple for beginning people that are, and its strongest point is its ability to record things, but its weakest point is definitely MIDI. It kind of sucks at it. In fact, I think it can't do it at all. You can do a lot of recording in here, so right off the bat, we got your play, pause, record, easy. You got your different tools here. This one is the one you want to use most of the time, as far as I remember. Uh, I don't know why by default they don't let you monitor. Maybe it's for CPU reasons. And then you can adjust your recording volume too right here, which is sweet. So let's just record me as I'm talking. Let's record me as I'm talking. Let's record me as I'm talking. Nice. So recording ability, pretty straightforward. Okay, we can just record like a new track. Uh, well, that adds to it. So if we go, how do you do this? Select recording, record new track. Let's record me as I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. Let's record me as I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't have headphones on, but you kind of get what's going on here. So let's, uh, and I'm recording in mono, so let's, uh, boom. Let's record me as I'm talking. Okay, we're done with that. So, I remember from this, there's a lot of built-in effects here, which these are kind of nice. So like Amplify, pretty straightforward. It makes it louder, all this. One thing I loved about this program is it would auto-pick things for you a lot of times. So you shouldn't ever have something too loud. So in here, if you get Amplify, it's automatically gonna suggest zero. You never really wanna go over that. So it will automatically suggest that for you, which is pretty nice. The bummer with this program is previews Let's record me as I'm talking. the way audacity works is this line by line so you're literally it's like basically what you're doing is every time you want to make an adjustment you're actually editing the file so if I hit amplify I just made it bigger physically like I can't there's no way to check and look at the things that you did previously like there's no turning on or off effects it's just applying manipulation to sounds so for example if I added this delay Okay, let's go to effects down here, delay, and let's preview it. Let's go Boom. But it's still this audio file. Like, the only way to get rid of it is to undo. Let's go if that makes sense. So that part has been the biggest limitation for Audacity. But if you want a program that's quick and dirty to record stuff, this is the program for you. Moving on to... Go back to our 12 fresh free dolls. Okay, garage band. Hey, we're gonna skip this one today because uh, this one is only for your Mac people. But just letting you know right now, this program is pretty sweet. I was dinking around in it earlier, awesome. Okay, moving on. Ableton Live Lite. 
I'm also going to be skipping this one because I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any DAWs where it's the lighter versions or free versions. This has a lot of limitations to it and we're not doing that today. Okay, cool. Yeah, get over it. Okay, tracks, you know, waveform free. I've never used this one before. Let's check it out. Free download. Yes. We love free downloads. All right, so I made it through all the clicky click things and, uh, all right, so I'm finally down to my download products. I found this interesting. There's actually a Raspberry Pi version downloader, which if you guys don't know what that is, be more of a nerd like me. So, um, download the Macintosh. Bam. When you guys like that internet speed, you like it, you wish you had this internet speed. Boom. Honestly, Mako. You've about done yourself. Okay, I got this. I opened it in the wrong window. But apparently there is like a better version of this, but you know what? I don't care. 231 plugins. I have 231 plugins apparently. Yikes. Let's do that. Oh, EDM. Okay. Mako's first. Whoa. Okay. Um, already... This has a lot more. Oi, oi. Okay, where do I hit? It's down at the bottom. I don't know about that. Okay, so they got a demo track for us. It looks like. Can we just start? Can we already? Can we just start over? Whoa. Okay, new project. Bam. Default. Create project. Mako's second time. Okay. Boom. All right. So this starts us off as six. And it looks like we got over here, we've got like a search like filter thing. I kind of like that. Ah, cool. So we installed waveform. Is there a difference? Create a new track. Okay, this is us. Okay. I think that arms it. And then. Hello, everybody. This is Mako testing out the emergency broadcast system. Okay, that's a little bit, you can calm down with that. Boom. Hello, everybody. Okay, so we did that. Is there like... This is Mako testing, testing out the, out the, the, the emergency, emergency broadcast, broadcast system. system. I don't like how it's already getting clippy, but you know, I think after a bit of time, I could I could figure this out. What do, what do these do? Yeah. I think you can get a lot out of this DAW. I just don't know what I don't know here. This is traction, everybody. Um, recording ability, you know, it's probably pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. A lot of DAWs feel like this, especially when you're starting out. Third party plugins, it it likes, it wants to scan them right away. I just didn't for time's sake. Um, easy to learn and eh, not quite there. Nice to look at. Also, no, I don't like the interface at all. It looks kind of dated. Not gonna lie. You know, what matters at the end of the day is not how it looks, it's how it sounds when it, LMS, and all of these DAWs, you can make some pretty amazing music with it. So don't let the looks of it get you out of there. If you guys enjoyed this video, me checking out some free DAWs, I am gonna do this again. So appreciate you guys watching. Basically Google Mago the producer, all one word, and you'll find everything about me. So go do it. Thanks so much, subscribe, like, please like and comment. That's way more valuable to me. We'll see you in the next video, Mago the producer, every Friday at 10 a.m. is when these will be published. See you guys. Have a good rest of your week.